Hello my beautiful people, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Myra and today we are doing a 99 cent store fall decor haul. But before we begin, please don't forget to subscribe down below. If you haven't already, I would love to have you here. Also comment down below if you are ready for fall season or do you think it's too soon to start? All right, let's get into it. I was actually pretty surprised with all the stuff that the 99 cent store had. I must say I had to go to two different locations because the first one I went to was a little bare, but the second one had a lot of stuff. So I will show you everything I purchased and then I will show you how I used it in the daycare space. This is a really good way for me to keep things exciting for the kids, change up the scenery, and if they break something, it's not going to break my heart because it literally was like a dollar something. Okay, let's begin. The first item is this little lantern. I actually got two of these. I just think they're super cute. This one was $3.49 and I am going to put one probably up in front and then the other one in the kitchen. And they do light up. They don't have batteries right now, but I will show you once I put batteries in it. Now, I must admit, most of the stuff is like papery stuff and most of it probably will not make it to next year. But I did grab a couple items like the lantern and this little resin, little pumpkin truck. And these will probably last me a few years if I take care of them. I will set them in places where the kids don't have access to or like they can't reach them so they don't break them because these are, you know, these are breakable. And this one was $2.99 and I think it is so cute. Look at that. I was actually going to get a smaller one but it was broken. I just think it's so cute. Okay. We have the little bouquet here. Um, these were each a dollar. And I'm just going to set these in the base that I have on the kitchen island. I do have the little fake carnations in there right now. And I think, just, I think these are just so cute. Like, I mean, from far away, they look all right. <laughs> This item I was super excited for. It is, it's really a pretty good size. And it was only $1.99. I think it's so cute. And this is going to go perfect in my entryway. I just think $1.99 is a really good price for this. And it's, it's pretty big and it's like, it's pretty sturdy too. So this will definitely be used in years to come. Another item that I purchased for the front entrance is this little doormat. Isn't it cute? I love it and this was only $2.99 and it's actually the quality is okay so the bag um, feels pretty good actually this is probably another item that will make it to next year but maybe if I mean it's not gonna be in a super high traffic area so maybe tell me these aren't the cutest little pumpkins ever let me set some down <laughs> so I wanted to get something that had a little bit more color because everything is really in the red, orange, brown scheme. And kids don't find that very attractive. Kids like color, okay? So I got these little pumpkins, these were each a dollar. Oh, then there was three. Um, yeah, these are, I feel like these are gonna go great in the playroom. And once again, I'm going to set them in areas where the kids don't really touch them, just because they are felt and with everything going on. And I must admit, my group of kids, are really good about not playing with decor like ripping stuff off the wall and stuff <laughs> this was another item that i was super excited about how cute is this it's supposed to be like a little wheelbarrow thing i don't know but this was a 2.99 and to put inside of it i got these little acorn pumpkin things i don't know what these are called what are these called foam pumpkins <laughs> I just think they would be really, really cute inside of the little tin here. I don't know, I'm probably gonna put this in my dining room, I don't know. But I will definitely find a use for it. And the little pumpkins were only a dollar. Next we have a table runner, this was $1.99. I really liked it, I think the color is really pretty. Oh look, it kind of matches my nails. <laughs> this will probably also go on my dining table. So these are very disposable items. I actually got these to do some arts and crafts projects with the kids. There's a bunch. There is literally a bunch in here. So these are going to be used for projects. I have some felt banners here. Um, this is just to spruce up the daycare space. Some more big leaves to stick around the walls. Just to make it feel real fall in there. 
I don't know what this is called, but it's like hanging stuff. <laughs> then we have a Hello Fall banner. This is probably gonna go at the very entryway of the playroom. This is a paper jointed wall decor and it's supposed to look like this at the very um, I hope my kids don't get scared of it. I must say I do have one little girl who gets frightened easily. So hopefully it doesn't freak her out or anything. I mean, it is, it is pretty big. <laughs> Look at this little guy. Tell me this is not the cutest. He was $2.99 and he is going to sit on the fireplace. I just think it's so cute. Now this is one of the items that I'm scared my kids will want to go grab. He's just that adorable. <laughs> Another front entrance decor is this little welcome friends pumpkin. It's so cute. I love the sunflowers. I'm probably going to pair it with this little pumpkin. This was also a dollar. I think they go, right? Like the colors go? Let me know. Literally a dollar. It's so cute. Look at the little leaf. Oh, I love it. And I like this because I feel like it can still transition it into our Halloween decor without having to like take out a lot of the stuff. And here are more little ceramics. <laughs> These are little pumpkins. I have two little pumpkins. And then I have this little acorn. This is like one of my favorites. Look how cute it is. This one will probably go in the front too. One of my favorite colors, burgundy. I love sunflowers. One of my favorite flowers. And isn't this the cutest? This is also going to go in the front entry. I feel like I have to be super careful with it because these little foamy things will fall off like if you look at them. So I'm trying not to look at it. <laughs> now to go with that big one, I also got these two little ones. And I know this is very fragile decor, but I feel like if I'm very careful with them, they will survive for at least next year. They're a little bit different, but they're pretty much the same thing, but different. <laughs> I also got these for the walls. I think they're super cute. And I can transition them into Halloween decor without having to take this stuff down, especially these. How cute are they? I know for sure the kids are going to love these. Okay, and last but not least, I have these little hanging signs. This one says, Welcome Fall. It's also going to go in the front entryway. It's super cute. It almost matches. You know what? I should have gotten a blue one. It could have like literally matched my little car. <laughs> and then I have a little Happy Harvest Scarecrow one. Again, with the little sunflowers. Super cute. I'm probably going to put this in the playroom. I think these are a really good deal. These are a dollar and if you take good care of it, it will last you. Okay, I lied. I have one more. Our big friend here, isn't he the cutest? And he is $4.99. I think he is the most expensive of everything that I purchased. He is super cute. I'm definitely going to set him in the kitchen. Hopefully the kids don't get scared of him. Is it a girl or a boy? I think it's a boy. He has the overalls. No, but then the shirt has flowers. I don't know. We'll name it Alex. Alex is a very gender neutral name. <laughs> so, little scarecrow Alex. Please stick around to the very end so you can see a little tour and how I utilized all the decor. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to subscribe down below, like, comment, share, all that fun stuff. Please stay safe out there and I will see you very soon.